speed what they happened last time. The video mm-hmm. Oh, it's a big old turtle. <sighs> yeah, he's not too big. He's A little small. Zach Corral, West Groves, aka Turtle Juggers. We're down here running bank lines, Indian Creek Marsh. Had two turtles on the line. We missed one. Uh, we had the one biggest turtle. Uh, Biggest turtle of my life so far on the line today and lost her. So definitely going to reevaluate my equipment and come back with a vengeance. Well, my buddy Wes got one today on his line. And there's the beast right there. Oh, it was a mean one. Nasty, nasty sucker. At 13 inches. Just, just legal size. Well, that's all for now. See you again next time. Well, I'm out here at a Wayne National Forest Pond. It's morning. Just checked my bank lines I set last night. Uh, nothing really to brag about. I did, however, catch my first uh, leatherback turtle. Well, he's a stinky sucker. So he's not very big, so I'll probably have to release him. I got to wait. Measure a shell. Well, that's it. Off to set the next line. Hey, I'm Turtle Jugger, Zach Carell. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know how I do my turtle lines, so I'm going to make a short video to show you. I have a line right here, I'm about ready to bait. See right now the way I'm doing it, I got a steel leader, 60 pound steel leader onto a, tri a circle hook. Got a 150 pound tarred bank line. Well, this is actually trot line. And as you can see here, I got the tag attached to the tree. This is called a limb line. That turtle gets on that line. He's going to shake his branch and uh, fighting that branch is going to wear him out. So he's all tired of uh, tired by the time he gets we get back and uh, get him anyway show you what I'm using here use a bit of cut bluegill that I caught the other day so I gotta try to use the middle part here what you want to try to do you want to try to hide the hook in the bait you want them to swallow the bait whole this is how I've been doing it this is what's worked for me so far so I have that hook hid you want to get it hid nice nice and hidden in there see once I got the hook hidden in there real good I'm gonna take the line I'm not gonna throw it very far from the bank at all right here right there in the clear water hopefully I come back and that uh, bank line will be tight they got another one over here I already did 
it's already in the water. You see the tag right there. Legal in the state of Ohio, you have to have your name, your address, your information on the tag on all your lines. See how slack it is right now. Hopefully I come back tomorrow and it's tight. All right, well, I'm going to go back and set some more lines, check some more jugs, check some more bank lines. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a turtle. This is Turtle Jugger, and I'm out. Show me. Howdy, I'm Zach. Something happened today that uh, I've never seen before. I was checking my bank line, and you notice my bank line, instead of going towards the water, is going down here towards the bank. Here's a big mess of stuff. Right here's the big guy. He looks mad, don't he? <laughs> I say he's maybe 13 inches. I'll measure him. Oh yeah, he was bigger than our last one. He's all dried out. That's the first time I've ever been checked my bank lines and saw a turtle on the bank. Boy, he stinks. Julie's holding her nose. <laughs> when turtles are in distress, they uh, give out a odor. Sort of like a defense mechanism. But we'll clean him out for a little while. But that's a good sized turtle right there. That's bigger than the last one, don't you think? <laughs> 